And um, now we go into Antergos, uh, Antergos, which is a little more chaotic. And I actually prefer. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so if you're following along, we are now at, um, we now have Antergos open. And our first one is 83II by Books VN. B O. B-O-0-X-V-N dot JPEG. And this is the one that I use mm. for my Antergos mm-hmm. install. Um, it's, uh, it's a landscape shot. It's a landscape shot, seaside or near water. And the thing is, even if he cut it directly in the middle, because he's got a leading lines with that foreground element. Right. So it's, and, um, and I keep my dock on the left. Perfect. It's perfect right? for it. Yeah. So that's what makes it perfect. And, um, and I have the bar on top, which is very, very clean. Yeah. Like, cause, cause there's no way I'm keeping my bar on the bottom, especially if I have like the clock and all yeah. of that stuff on the bottom right. Um, or that could work as well because the leading line of the foreground element sort of leads you down to, um, the clock mm-hmm. and whatever other indicators you have at the bottom right. So that could work as well, I guess. It does. It does. But, like, I, I really love this image. And again, just soft blue, Marian blue, sky blue yeah. color. It's very clean. Mm-hmm. And, and, it's, um, and it's functionality as a desktop, like, wallpaper, or well, background. They call them backgrounds. So, and, and it's functionality as a background um, with the leading line and all the jazzy things. Yeah. Uh, next up. Wait, uh, but by the way, I, I'm using the open box, the open box version. Oh, okay. So, uh, because it might be different with each. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know as well. All right. So, uh, next up, antergos-wallpaper.png. This is their default. Oh, okay. And it looks really, it's, it's just like a, like a vector, yeah. a vector thing. Not a vector thing. It's what? Digital art? <laughs> I guess so. You could call it digital art. Right, all of the blues and stuff in three lines. Blue really is a relaxing color. Yeah. So, well, this this is uh this is more or less their um their what do you call it? Their their logo splash screen. It's, it's their logo zoomed all the way in. Mm. Like those those lines. So this is like a really good representation, I guess, of um, what Antergos is. Right, it's just mm-hmm. or you know, just like keeping um. Keeping the branding consistent, shall we mm-hmm. say. <laughs> right, next up, As Time Goes by most Canon D5 string of letters that looks like it's a YouTube video URL. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a clock. What, what do you think of this? I see a lot of those types of photos in Flickr. What do you think of it as a wallpaper or background? Uh, rather? It's a pass for me. Because it's too distracting. Okay. And I can't actually... You know what would be nice, though? I'd put an actual clock on the clock part. <laughs> oh, yeah. That would be really cool. Like, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. That Widgets? Way. Conky? No. Um, yeah, conky. Conky. Like, have it as, a, have it have as, it an, as actual an actual clock. clock. Would be nice. Like, you could play around with it, though. I, I, can actually, I can actually see, like, a conky config where, like, all you have are hands... And you just drop down into GIMP and remove remove the hands on the clock yeah. on this wallpaper or on this uh, background, and just have like a conky mm-hmm. clock where it's just hands <laughs> and you're using the clock face from the wallpaper. Exactly. That would I find that's that's what I'm gonna do with that. Huh. But not too big on the sepia tone. Um. Shot at f two point eight, one over five hundred. Mm. So again, the bokeh because yeah. of the lens well for the wide aperture. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we should l- let's record it after this. What? Like a basic introduction to photos to, to photography <laughs> concepts, like like a wide aperture, large opening. We'll or, see. Nah, all right. So uh, a wide aperture. Aperture is is the, the the opening of the lens. Yes. How wide it is. And the smaller the number, the bigger it is. The smaller the number, the bigger it is. <laughs> then the shutter speed is how fast it opens and closes. Uh, the smaller the number, the faster. And by the smaller, we mean 1 over 500. <laughs> uh, is, and That's faster, actually. Yeah, the smaller the number, 
No, the bigger the number. No, the smaller the number, the faster. Because one over five hundred is smaller than one. Okay. Yeah, indeed, indeed. The smaller it is. So one over two thousand or eight thousand, it's faster. Yeah. Okay. Right. Next up, we have Autumn Hike, Plant Details, by A O I B A N. A O B A N. Yep. Uh, bit left heavy. So yeah, again, put is. your dock on the right. Put your dock on the right. Exactly. Also, Boke. Boke, boke, like nothing else. Uh, this kind of aesthetic, actually, the boke and the color, earthy, yellowish tone, hmm. Instagram bait. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> like a lot of people like that on Instagram, and there's a good reason because it's just so relaxing to look at. Yeah, and and that's what, and uh, I guess that's why it sort of works as your it's desktop wor- background. Yep, and not too busy. Hmm. It's not too busy. Um, what what is it? It's just a f- F2. A, a plant. Oh, interesting. Yeah. F2 at 1 over 1,000. So we can get a feel for what the light was like at the time. <laughs> yeah. Because the more... Because... Um, audience members, man. No. No, because the more you shoot... Like, if you see... If you see the F-stop or aperture... Interchangeable. Right? If you see the aperture and you see the shutter speed... If you've been shooting long enough, you know what the light is like. Mm-hmm. Regardless like, of how bright or dim it is yeah. on the photo. And you could set an exposure va- exposure values... Like, you could come up with the same exposure at, say, if I shoot this as 2.8, 1 over 500. Yeah. F4, 1 over 250. Yeah, yeah. F5.6, 1 over 125. Same exposure value, but again, if I go now to F8 or F5.6, Where there's won't the, have the bokeh. Yeah. But you're aiming for the bokeh. The clearness, if yeah. you, the, the higher the number of your f-stop. Right, next up, Blossom by Snipes2. It's I guess, a, uh, well, I guess because I'm right-handed, I tend to prefer the negative space to be on the left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I'm, somebody should do a study on that. Like, if you have docks and... <laughs> where is your docks? Space? Yeah, where is the dock? Is it on the left or on the right? And, and does it differ when it comes to handedness? Yeah, because the flower for this one is on the left side, negative space on the right. Yeah. For, for Blossom by Snipes 2. F2.8. F2. <laughs> We're looking at the settings. <laughs> ah, interesting to note. At least for Antergo, some of the EXIF file is still there. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, so you'd have your dock on the right for this. And if you're... To, I, w- I would imagine that, that, w- that would work well for a left-handed person. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's just a flower. It's a flower. A blurry flower with... Water droplets. But then what's cool, what, what's cool about this and uh, using... The uh, using the wide aperture, you get it really gets to focus in on the, what, what's what's interesting about the details of the flower. Details of the flower, right? Because like a flower is a flower, yeah. But this thing has the weird curly looking things thing that right you never in. see with the naked eye. Yeah, and like if this was shot at say f sixteen, right, where you have like where you go, all right, let's go hyperfocal and make everything clear you will lose the curvature of the sprouting in mm-hmm. the middle of the flower. So that's what's interesting about mm-hmm. this. Like putting focus where where something is interesting. It's like the shell from um from elementary. Like mm-hmm. shell. Anyway. Moving on. It is, doesn't have <laughs> undesirable name. C six five K. Not not undesirable. Uncipherable. It's a, undecipherable, unpronounceable name. Yeah, I would admire anyone who can pronounce the file name on this one. Yeah, C six five S K three M S H. It probably looks like yeah. downtown L A. This is exactly the type of shot that I would shoot. Exactly. <laughs> so if you were using Antergos, you probably use aside from the other one, probably this. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, because it's, the other one is cooler. Yeah, well, this is... Uh, uh, well, cooler not in... Ah, that's cool, but cooler in tone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the thing that makes this different from something that I would do is the street lights aren't exploding. Yeah, you want it... Because you're going to shoot at F11. Yep. It doesn't have any of the details, though. So, there. Um, and this is the type of shot that... Uh, that works as a wallpaper or as a desk desktop background. If you don't have anything on your 
you tend on to your make desktop. it yeah you, you tend to make sure it's clean yeah like with open box i'm I, i don't think you can put anything on the desktop with open, on on open box but then i've never tried so <laughs> <laughs> um so like it's it's nice that uh antergos has those options like i'm not putting anything on my desktop so mm-hmm. i can sort of afford to have a busy wallpaper yeah not as a not 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 for its function but just for the aesthetic of a photo so it's like a picture frame basically like a picture frame and this is the type of shot that falls into that sort of mold and i like the vanishing point you don't see oh, many, yeah. you know you don't see very many of those especially for la- for for cuz the common theme is always bokeh yeah mm-hmm. Yeah, so this is like, huh, you have this nice little vanishing point, like very renaissance <laughs> in its aesthetic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All righty. Um Early Morning by I can't see the name. Kek C. Early Morning. Kyle KC? Oh, I thought it was 2K's. I should check my glasses. Yeah, Again, Early Morning by Kyle KC. This looks like it was shot like at F1.8. <laughs> <laughs> And the sun is just around here at least at around six o'clock seven o'clock yeah but again green yeah and then didn't step down so the sun is not with the you yeah. call that cross star crosses right um a lot of bokeh do morning do um it's uh it's a macro shot composed like a landscape <laughs> yeah i find those cool like stuff that that, that, that could be an exercise in itself actually Like um, things composed as landscapes, as if they were landscapes. Hmm. That could be an interesting exercise. I should do some. Let my some of my students do that. <laughs> <laughs> like macro shots, but then compose them as landscapes. Um, the tips of the blades of grass are the only thing that's in focus, and it's wet. Right. Yeah, because of all of the bokeh that the yeah. evening's precipitation. Yep. <laughs> And as a wallpaper, it works. It works. <laughs> Next up, Extinction by Sign Corp Stealer. I love this image. Six point three, one over one hundred. I love this image, man. Like I, I, um, I don't use this as my background, but I love this image. <laughs> I like the treatment, how it was processed. Hmm. I, I like the aesthetic, like. But of course, but my well. So it's, it's it's the graffiti one, graffiti inside yeah. an abandoned building, um, probably shot mid a- not uh, mid afternoon. But uh, judging from where the sun looks to be, it looks like the way it was framed, well, well, the way it was composed. It's look, it looks like the building is tipping over. Yeah, because the lines are not straight. But then again, here is me doing <laughs> one of my day jobs is I'm an arch- architectural photographer, so if I'm seeing those lines that are like bended or slant like drives me nuts <laughs> yeah yeah but it's not a bad it's not bad so i like that i like the treatment the graffiti can be easily shown and it would be nice in the windows one individual icon per window <laughs> <laughs> yeah but, i really love the aesthetic because the the, of course. the the there's a lot of interaction between light and dark yep yeah which is like a stark contrast from everything else that we've seen which is just absolutely bright Yeah, Or absolutely. Yeah, and there's a lot of color, but then it's all muted because that's why I like the treatment. It doesn't. It's not jarring. Mm. Yeah, and so and this is another one of those. Uh, this is another one of those that would work as if you treat the background as a picture frame mm-hmm. more than a desktop. Next up, Field by Stephen Fields. Three point five one over seven fifty. <laughs> huh? Why? Anyway. And it looks like it was shot with a 28 or an 18. It looks like either it was, way, <laughs> if a, 18 converted to full frame is yeah. 28. So it looks like a wide angle lens because of the shape of the clouds. Yes. Uh, again, the treatment. I, I don't know who started that type of treatment, but it looks really Instagrammy. Yeah. The treatment. Let's see another one that was weird. Like the horizon line is almost right in the middle. Uh. Yeah. It's kind of like. Stabbing it in the middle, but you know there's so many detail in front anyway, so we should have highlighted that. But there's so many things happening in the clouds. Yeah. So I say wider lens. <laughs> <laughs> It's already shot with a wide angle though. Yeah. No, go in for a twenty-one, twenty-four, lower third. Oh show yeah. Show more of the sky. That's true. 
Right, next up, Grass by Masha Darkfell666. Um, <laughs> for, uh, such a peaceful image with a name. <laughs> with such a metal name. Darkfell666. Such a peaceful and serene image. Yeah, That's yeah. extremely macro shot. It's a... Uh, uh, four thirds. I think the... Yeah. The aspect ratio of this one is four thirds. Hmm. Well, let's zoom it out. Uh, let me just zoom it out. Oh. It is. It's yeah, a four, four, four three. three. Yeah. That's uh interesting. That's refreshing. Yeah. That's refreshing that like in the age of sixteen nine, sixteen ten aspect ratio for wallpapers and screens for screens. Yeah. You have <laughs> you have a sixteen uh, 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 four thirds. Which which is really cool for the district which is really cool for Antergos. Exactly. Like you have this option. I think that's like if there was a if there was a theme for the Antergos wallpapers, it's you have options. Yeah. Because, you know, you have, like, your nature stuff, but then you have the very busy kind of, mm-hmm. um, right, this is going to work as a picture frame. And then you have this, which is a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. <laughs> Shot by a micro four-thirds camera, most likely, because of the aspect ratio. Either way. Yeah. See? 10, 10, 10, 24, 7, 6, 8. So, really <laughs> interesting. Another 4-3. Uh, four thir- uh, four by three. Grass full screen dot JPEG. Now, if this is a photo, I wouldn't know, or a graphic, I wouldn't know. <laughs> but it works as a wallpaper. It works as a wallpaper. A, yeah. Um, it's green. <laughs> <laughs> and again, the uh, the the choice that you have because it not not everything here is clearly a photo. Yes. <laughs> uh huh. Next up. Humble by Splendid of Sun. It's um, it's Muslim women at a shoe shop. No, I don't think it's a shoe shop or a school. Maybe either a school or a mosque. Is it again? Photographs are partial truth. Well, the, uh, it's 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 probably a school because you have like the, the people racks. in the back, people in the back that that don't uh, that that aren't in sort of more traditional Muslim garbs though. Um. Again, this is like a photo more than it is a background. Or yeah, a and the thing is, it's a street photograph. Yeah, which is it is, which is unusual for wallpapers because usually it's nature, it's depth of field, architectural, relax, architectural, something relaxing or space or stars. Yeah, then, then you have a street sudden, photograph. Like, decisive moment. <laughs> <laughs> Would have wished the other person at the background, uh, the middle layer of the frame, like. The one holding the shoes yeah. would have wished that person was in the middle. So it's not the decisive moment. Not so much, but it's an interesting image. A uh, bit of distortion. See the post on the left curving. Oh yeah, huh? <laughs> That's why I hate it because sometimes it doesn't add or subtract anything to it, and an image can live with that distortion. It's just it's just you're being ah, smarky. Yeah, <laughs> I'm being smarky, and I hate it. And it's because I know it. I need to correct it. In the grass. In the grass. Not JPEG. Next photo is again blades of grass, green. Boy. <laughs> yeah. Pick your poison. F five one over two hundred. That's mm. not as extreme. That's not as extreme. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Blades of grass, very standard stuff. Um, your bar would be on top here because the bottom is a little too busy. <laughs> Next up, morning light. Ah, oh, cherry is that cherry blossoms or flowers or some sort of flowers and a lot of bokeh. This is perfect for me because I again I put my like dock to the left and then you know I have a special relationship with cherry blossoms these days. Yeah, well, pink flowers. Oh, <laughs> uh huh. Um, next up, Nautilus full screen. Eh, it's mm-hmm. the same as the green one, except it's blue. Not a photo, or it could be a photo. "Quote unquote digital art." Right next up, this is a thing. File name Nikon D40. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't want to read it out. I wanted you to read it. Like, why? But um, yeah, why? I mean, still works. So, still a decent camera if you could get one these yeah, days. Yeah. Fi- it's the cap D40 these days. I think it's 12 years old now. Yeah, and it's 14 really years old. And it's really good. Actually, and it was actually a, a great. Nikon camera. But, uh, well, photography is about seeing. 
And this is a photo of a water fountain sprouting water. Great detail. I give it that. But uh, I personally wouldn't use it as my own desktop wallpaper. <laughs> curve, man. Curve. Mm, what can we say about this? Hmm. Again, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a thing. <laughs> it's, it's a, as a wallpaper. Uh, as, as a, it would be, again, it's, it's like if you're using it as a picture frame. Uh huh. Next up, we have sky full of stars. This is a very classic landscape. Classic landscape. I I won't be surprised if some people choose this one as their desktop wallpaper. It was. It looks like it was taken off the internet. There's a URL right at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> or probably the person submitted it as well. To Antargos. Eh, I don't know because the, the there isn't any credit in the name. Uh. Either way, it looks. Oh, there's the Milky Way actually. The thing is, aren't we in the Milky Way? But either way. Um, well, they call it, when they photograph, they call it the Milky Way Galaxy. But, you know. But then we, you, you can't see the Milky Way Galaxy from within the Milky Way Galaxy. Uh, the other systems in the Milky Way Galaxy. Okay, well, either way. Either way. Um, it doesn't have any natural borders, though, which is weird for a landscape shot. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting foreground, though. Just like a stream of line heading to the ocean or sea. Looks yeah. like clouds. Next up, we have Soli by Stephen Fields. Fields. Again, an image I always see on Flickr. The treatment looks doesn't look like a typical photo, how it was treated. Yeah, it's sort of digital arty. Digital arty. Again, um, to each his own. No, not my tastes. I prefer a tradi- look of a traditional photo. Yeah, well, this but, is a, it's, it's a tree, like right in the middle of the frame, more or less. But it works as a wallpaper. Yeah, it works... <laughs> Um, and that's the important context here. Yeah, uh, it's it's, um, it's a lot like the shell from uh, from elementary, mm-hmm. but better balanced. <laughs> and a tree. <laughs> yeah, and a tree. Uh, next, we have the world inside my lens by Moss Cannon, and it is a lens. I'm trying to decipher what lens it is, but. Uh, Oh, there's a watermark. Cool. Yeah, there's a watermark. Bottom right. Uh, subtle watermark. <laughs> there's no... There's The lens engravings are not there. So I'm not yeah. sure what lens it is. 5.6, 1 200 of a second. Hmm. And the highlights look like it was flash. Or a, like LED. See the strip? Yes. To get the flare going. And it works, again, as a wallpaper. Like, just the upper left of the frame. You can see there the three icons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This really uh, and and th- well, this this particular shot reminds me of that phase that we went through um, when it came to like experimental film photography. Mm-hmm. You know, like like, like those the guys. Flares and- yeah, and like those. those um, what was the name of that guy that had a, a camera on his bike and just started riding? So you get the extreme like light trails and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like just very experimental, quote unquote, which is cool. That you have that as part of like your set of wallpapers. <laughs> and last. And lastly, we have White Line by Snipes 2. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> it's a white line. Well, it's, it's a curved line and sort of. Interesting gradient or yeah. shadow play, if ever it was an actual photo or graphic. Detail on the line, shout out to that. Especially the shadow. Yeah. Looks very precise. <laughs> and, um, well, it's. It it works well as a wallpaper. It works well as something you put on your desktop. Mm-hmm. 